What's up guys? It's a beautiful day. I'm here in my Blanchard yard. What I want to do today is I want to do splits. Now the split that I'm going to do today is not the normal flyback split. I want to do something a little bit different. This is recommended by uh, Don. Oh, look a little boy bee right there. You see a little boy bee? Yeah, much bigger than the rest. It's recommended by Don. It's different from a flyback split. And real quickly, what a flyback split is, is you take your two hives, or you take your, your box, you unload the brood comb onto a nuke, and then you um, you move those nukes elsewhere, and you just basically leave the queen and maybe one frame of open brood in there, and you basically knock them down to one deep. This is going to be different. The one that Don recommended is, a, I think it's called the Patterson Method. And basically you put two nukes, which I already have set up getting ready to go, uh, one there and one there. You put two nukes, one on each side, and what'll happen is the forager bees will come back and they'll go into those two nukes. The main hive and the queen will be mo moved elsewhere, okay? So she'll stay with uh, the majority of the, um, uh, the frames of brood, all that good stuff, and she'll be fine. But the foragers, they'll come back into the new nuke boxes. So that's uh, a little bit different. I think this actually might end up being better because as you recall last time, the problem that I had with the nuke boxes is that most of the bees flew away and had to shake off nurse bees into the nukes to build the numbers back up. I think this is gonna work out well. We're gonna find out. Okay, so I had to put them a little closer. I you just say this, this this hive was a little hot, mm, man, to begin with. It's like they just got me. A little hot to begin with. This is the first time I've worn gloves in about two or three years. Um, so that's kind of why I was picking on them, splitting them up. And I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get a hold of John West. And uh, he has a little company out in Texas, not too far from here. And he's going to have some queen bees ready for us. I'm going to re requeen these guys, but... It looks like it's working. Now, I was supposed to separate the hives a little bit further and put them on the, the edge of the two, but they were going into the hive on the left a little more. So I went ahead and moved the hive on the right a little closer just so it gets an equal amount of bees. All right, so I need to throw some tops on these guys, let them calm down, and we'll see how this works. But right now, I'm pretty happy with what's, what's going on. All right, now let's go take a look at the original hive. I brought them over here. I did have the queen in the queen clip, so I know she's good to go. And she's in there. I released her right before I put the top back on there. So I'm very certain that the queen is not in here. The bees are upset, but uh, they'll, they'll get over it. All right, well, I'm about to head out to Texas. You guys have a good afternoon. And this probably won't be the end of the video. I'll probably go ahead and continue the video when I release the queen into the, the nukes. But that will be later on this afternoon. John's heading out to go grab the queen. Little Misbehaving is the name of his company. We're out here in Texas. I think he has quite a few acres out here. If you notice, there are hives everywhere. Is my incubator and basically it'll keep the queens at temperature while i transport them back to shreveport even though uh actually i live in blanchard so i'm right down the road from karnak texas from uh, john west's location i think he has beehives everywhere i can't remember the number of hives he says he runs out here but it's quite a few so normally I try not to do my splits this late in the afternoon. I just got behind in time. It's getting close to 4.30, so it's probably gonna be five or six before I get the queens in the hive, which is kind of late to be messing with bees. But the temperature stays out here pretty nice. All right, here he comes, so let's, let's get down to business. All right, there's John West, and he is looking for a queen. Oh, no, he's already got the queen found. This one's yours. Good deal. All right, here. Good deal. Let's get one of these little pattern on there. Oh, nice. Nice. I like it. 
Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. This I have the it. other queen already in the truck. Yeah, this is her here. Oh, and that's her pattern right there? Well, this is her just starting. Okay. Oh, nice. It's just starting. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they outgrow these so fast. And uh, as you see, I got to start pulling some brood out of here. If that hatches, I don't have no room for the bees already got in there. All right. And you make your own grafts? Is that yes, how? Yep. My okay. wife does all the grafting. Okay. And uh, I take care of all the queens outside. Nice, but nice. They're... And you're down in Karnak, Texas, right? I am, I am. And what's the best way to get them a hold of you? Probably Facebook? Facebook is probably the easy way to catch me. Okay. Know? And uh, John well, West? John West. Always misbehaving before. Always misbehaving. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. So this is my second set of queens from John. The first set have done excellent, so I'm hoping the second set is going to be just as good. I look forward to doing a lot more business with you in the future. I, I hope you keep uh, growing and we all grow together, right? Excellent. Right, so we've just now got back to the house. Caitlin Grace has both the queen bees in her hands. We've picked up. Now I'm about to head over to the hives and install them. We're back at the location. We have a queen at each of the, the nukes. I want to watch to make sure that one doesn't get too much stronger. If so, they'll take them and they'll swap positions and then the foragers until it balances out. All right. Looks like somebody's already found the queen. Oh, they're already finding the queen. Huh. Look at the, the bees. They're finding the queen. All right. This is good. They're ready to release her. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and step back and I'm going to go ahead and and work that one right there. Actually, I won't get the smoke going before I do this. Oh, look at them. They are finding the queen. All right, so I'm gonna get the smoke going a little bit just in case you're still upset from earlier today, which they probably are because it was only a few hours ago and release these, or not release the queen. I'm actually gonna put them in here. Right now they have this little marshmallow plug on the side and they'll just chew that out. Same thing on this guy, a little marshmallow plug. All right, so let's go release the queen. I have to work fast. I just went to light the uh, the smoker, and just that quick, the bees have found her. All right. So I'm gonna have to work pretty quickly to get these guys in. All right, now I've released, not released, but I've put the um, queen cage in there. And there's there's probably twice as the uh, number of bees in here, tw two times the amount of bees in here is over there. So I'm definitely gonna have to balance these out. But for today, they'll be just fine. So you can tell them they, they're accepting of the queen. They're very happy. The queen's here, extremely happy. Well, good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and close this off and call it a day. So this is the Patterson method of a swap. Let's review, I mean, split, let's review. The original hive was there with the queen. We took that hive, moved it over there. Oh, I can't see. Now, that leaves this hive without foragers. That's fine. Uh, there's plenty of bees in here. A lot of these girls will convert to foragers. All the foragers are coming to the two nukes left right here. So the foragers can do, but one thing you have to be careful with is too many bees get in one box, like what's happening here. I need more bees in this side. So what I'm gonna do is probably switch these guys tomorrow so that until I get it balanced out. But there's enough in there to take care of that queen today, no problem. But there's probably twice as many bees as over there. All the foragers are flying back in. Normally you can just put a queen cell in there, but I went ahead and went over to John West. Uh, he's right down the road. He has this, uh, he has a great setup over there and with misbehaving his apiary and very happy with those queens I've got from earlier. So I'm hoping these queens will do just as good. So the deal is the foragers are coming to here and it'll help boost these, um, these nukes. Now the deal is each of these nukes has one frame of brood, one frame of honey and pollen, some nectar. And now they have a queen bee. So these guys should be really set up to take off. I'm probably going to give them a different location here in the next, um, once I get these balanced out, I'm going, which will probably be tomorrow, I'm going to actually take these guys to different locations. There's too many hive beetles at this location. So uh, unless it's a really strong hive, a really strong hive, they'll have a problem. So they're only going to stay here for probably about a day. But I think that's it. Um, these two nukes are going to be moving to either Mooring Sport or Downtown Blanchard. I haven't decided yet. And it looks like they'll do, uh, they'll do well. All right, guys. Y'all have a wonderful evening.